hey guys sis. welcome back to my channel so today is a new start of a new weekly vlog so today is monday the 9th of january and i am gonna go ahead and create i wanted to create today a stuffed salmon because i've seen some stuffed salmons before and they have looked absolutely wonderful um but i don't think that my salmon is up to actually being stuffed it is pretty thin now that I look at it, I did get a full filet here, but it is very thin, so I don't think there's really any stuffing going on, unfortunately, but that's okay because we're still gonna create like a, what I would normally have for my stuffing, and then just kind of drape it on top of the, of the uh, baked salmon. So I am actually gonna be using spinach today as one of my add-ins. And of course, I have a big old thing of grape tomatoes here. Uh, which I'm going to be using for a little bit of brightness. Um, I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff that I pulled out. This is not a recipe by any stretch of the imagination. I have not gotten a recipe. I could have. There's so many on like Instagram and YouTube about a stuffed salmon, but I just figured I'd just try my hand and kind of wing it and see what I could actually come up with for my stuffing. So let me go ahead and show you guys all of the um, ingredients that I'm going to be using today. Alrighty, so besides the salmon here and i showed you guys the grape tomatoes and of course the spinach i also have a little bit of lemon here cayenne pepper paprika some lemon pepper old bay half and half minced garlic and i have these little sauces from that peruvian chicken place that we like to go to or that we like to actually get from food from and this one is like a very herbaceous sauce, so very herby, lots of, uh, I'm sure, fresh peppers in there. And I think that that would give it a really good brightness and bite as a, at the same time. I have some Dijon mustard. I have some ginger in a paste, sour cream, Parmesan cheese, and butter. So that is what I'm going to try my best to use to create my fake stuffed salmon or mainly just what I'm going to put on top of the salmon because that's pretty much what it's looking like right now.
channel so today is tuesday tuesday the 10th of january and i am gonna be uh making my you know food to break my fast of course as per usual um it's about 4 30 about 4 30 in the afternoon we just came back from the store i had to make a quick store run real quick um i needed some parmesan cheese for what i'm making today i am actually gonna do kind of like a caesar salad wrap and i'm gonna be using my flat out uh, light Italian herb flatbreads. So these ones are 60 calories per flatbread, only six net carbs, and they have six grams of protein. And you guys already know that I got this from Nutrition. There's eight flatbreads that come in here. Yes, I'm excited because I am definitely, first of all, you guys already know the drill, I'm hungry, but I had some leftover food from the other day that I wanted to kind of incorporate into that. So. Um, my leftover steak from what I didn't eat the other night. Yeah, this thing was huge and it was so good too. Um, I still have some asparagus in there as well. And then I really need to eat up the remainder of this um, half and half salad mix. So I figured what better way to do that than either besides a salad, a Caesar salad wrap. So I'm going to make myself a steak Caesar salad wrap using my flat out flatbreads. So... This is my first time using them. I hope that they are really good. The picture on the front kind of makes it seem like they, you know, wrap pretty nicely with no issues. It smells like herbs. So that's with the, about the size of the breads itself. So I'm gonna set that down or sit that down here on my little plate here. And I'm gonna heat up my steak so that it's, um, you know, heated thoroughly and warm, but not necessarily piping hot. And I'm basically just gonna add the salad mixture um, to that. I'm gonna do some creamy Caesar dressing, shaved Parmesan. I have my grape tomatoes here, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut a few of those to go in my wrap. Um, but I think that's pretty much about it. Um, we actually have chicken here too, so that sauteed or pan seared chicken um, goes perfectly as a chicken Caesar salad wrap or just a chicken Caesar salad. So you can kind of do it both ways, however you like. But I am gonna make a steak wrap since I still have steak left over. Um, and then I also have this asparagus that I have left over on the side as well. So let me go ahead and get that started. I'm just gonna heat up my steak really quickly. The salad portion doesn't take long at all, which is fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that out of here. It was a really, really good steak. There is a, tea, a, a bone in there. So awesome flavor, good marbling and no issues. I enjoy a good steak. I'm just going to heat that up a little bit. I'm just going to do a minute as of right now. And I'll heat up my, um, almost said broccoli. I'll heat up my asparagus here in a bit. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like. It almost kind of looks like a steak salad with a little flatbread here. There we go. So it kind of looks like a taco, but it's supposed to be a wrap. <laughs> Look, it's in a wrap, so it's a wrap, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness, everything looks so good. And the steak, of course, smells so delicious. So I'm excited about that. So that's the wrap I have here. 
And then I have my asparagus that I just kind of nuked in there. I threw a little bit of those Parmesan shavings on there so I can have an additional green with my dinner as well. Um, what else would I wanted to give you guys a heads up? I have Muggy here for my protein coffee. I have my water jug, of course, or my water jar. Um, I've been doing really good on my water. I got a new water bottle from Amazon. It's about a 56, either 52 or 56 ounce bottle. It's a glass bottle, which is great. And yes, I feel like I've been doing really good with this. Really, really good with this um, at work. So I'm trying to keep up keep up the good work as far as that goes. But I think that's pretty much it, guys. I'm about to break my fast. It's a little after 4.30. So that was a quick, easy uh, meal to make really quickly after work. Just some leftover, um, you know, just some leftovers that you have and just kind of throw it and make it a, a, a salad wrap or a Caesar salad wrap and yeah, call it a day. So that's really a really great way to do that. So that was it. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Other than that, I hope I see you guys here tomorrow. Same time, same place for Wednesday. All right. Take care. Bye. Hey guys, sis. welcome back to my channel. So today is Wednesday, January the 11th and I am home. It's around four o'clock and I'm ready to chow down. Okay. So I laid all of the stuff out that I'm going to be having today. I'm definitely going to be making another wrap. Those chick that chicken, what did, I didn't have chicken. I had uh, steak. Steak Caesar salad wrap was delicious. So um, I'm going to basically be doing the same thing, except for this time, I'm actually going to be using chicken because I'm all out of steak. So chicken it will be. So I went ahead and put a piece of chicken on my plate along with two strips of bacon from the little bacon that we had already made for the week. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of heat that up a little bit so that it is kind of warmed all the way through and ready to be slapped onto da -da -da, my wrap. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in here. There we go. And I'll pop that on. I'll put that on here in just a second. Um, everything else is pretty much all buildable. Um, so I have the rest of my remaining salad that I'm trying to finish out. I have some grape tomatoes that I'm going to um, kind of cut up into halves. Um, I also have some cucumber, which was wonderful for crunch. Um, my favorite, which is the Ken's Steakhouse Creamy Caesar Dressing. I have some shaved Parmesan cheese that I'm going to include. And then as usual, the star of the show is the flat out Italian herb flatbreads. These ones are really good. Um, they are very pliable, but I did notice a little bit of tearing yesterday on just on the top of it. So I did notice that, but other than that, I mean, the bread was good. It tasted good. It didn't have any mealy, yucky tastes or anything to it. So that's, that's awesome. Like I appreciate something that actually tastes pretty decent or tastes kind of really close to the similar, you know, the same thing as a regular tortilla or flatbread. Um, but it didn't have like a mealy taste to it or grittiness or anything else like that. So that I definitely appreciate with the flatbread. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that on here and I'm going to pretty much prepare it the same way. Just use a little bit of this Caesar dressing. Alrighty guys, so it's time to chow down. All right, so I am gonna show y'all what this, come on thing, what my little thing, actually I already showed you guys what it looked like. It kind of looks like a salad, like I mentioned, but oh yeah, it's a taco slash wrap. 
and it looks delicious and I can't wait to chow down. Yes. And it's full, it's packed more full of greens and you know, salad stuff than it is the actual chicken or the bacon, which is what I appreciate as well. Um, so I'm definitely getting lots of greens with this, but this is such a quick, fast, easy meal. Right now it's 4.07. When I first got on here, it was four o'clock. So trust me, if you're looking for something that's quick, easy to make, and that's still gonna be nutritious and low in carb, yeah, this is definitely one of them. So yes, I'm excited about this. All right, guys, and so besides the actual uh, chicken Caesar wrap, I also have some of that uh, roasted uh, zucchini, um, yellow squash, and onions that my husband made the other day, which is uh, smells delicious. And I have three stuffed mushrooms. This one kind of came apart a little bit. So it's three stuffed white mushroom caps. I think these are white mushroom caps. And um, yeah, he just put a little piece of cheese on top of them. They're just stuffed with a little bit of ground beef. But this should be really good protein and really good to go ahead and end my night with. So that's what I am going to be having. Mm, yes. Uh, you guys saw that I was, um, I did a little bit of coffee in the mocha pot. So I have my, um, you know, I have muggy here with my coffee in there. I did a little bit of half and half and of course some of the Atkins. And of course I have my water jar here. I've been doing really good, like I mentioned. I'm almost done with this one. So I'm super, super happy with my purchase. I absolutely love this one. It's the glass bottle and it's holding 56 ounces of water. So I don't have to waste as many of those little bottles of water. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna finish that up today or this evening, but I think that's pretty much it for today, guys. I hope you guys this week is going great. So as per usual, I will see you guys right back here on the channel, same time, same place tomorrow for another vlog. Take care, bye.
welcome back to the channel it is friday today is the 13th friday the 13th um and we are home we just been a week you guys saw yesterday we were partying having us a good time on a school night like <laughs> we don't wake up at the crack of dawn or the before the crack of dawn so it's been a little bit of a exhausting day um traffic wasn't too bad for the most part getting home and honestly we were just very hungry and we also had to make a store stop so we stopped at the, one of the local grocery stores and just grabbed a few things that we needed for you know the household so um you guys saw me putting together the salad and these salads look wonderful i definitely got like a, i made mine a lot larger than my husband's only because i wanted to make sure that i got a lot of greens in definitely a lot of greens uh, yesterday, the only greens I really got were just the stuffed mushrooms. That had, I guess they had veggies in them. And the celery and carrots. So that was all that I had as far as greens on my plate. And you guys already know, I try to, I try to make sure that I incorporate my greens in my food. So large salad here. You guys already know how I do. I did add in one new thing today, which was some radish. The store had radishes on sale for a buck, which was great for like a whole bag of them. So I incorporated some radish in there for a little bit more crunch. Um, and you guys, um, of course, the Ken Caesar dressing, the creamy Caesar dressing is what I always use. And then I actually did, did some pecans um, on top to which are going to add such a great nutty flavor to it um i'm basically having leftovers since we still had food um this is the rest of that salmon and then of course that little stuffing <laughs> that i wasn't able to stuff it with i just kind of poured over the top and reheated that it smells good it looks good i am ready to chow down for sure and then finally on the side i made myself some um like garlic toast or garlic bread um, I just used two, um, you guys saw that I just used two pieces of that Live Carb Smart bread by Aunt Millie's. So um, I want to say that each slice was about four or five net carbs. So I just did two. I may not even eat the full two, but I wanted to go ahead and just do two. Um, and they look great. They came out perfect. I mean, they crunched when I, you know, kind of cut them in half. Yeah, so I'm excited to kind of have a little bit of this garlic bread to kind of sop up the remainder of that stuffing that I made for that salmon. So yes, super excited. I have Muggy here today. Definitely, I mean, <laughs> he's filled up to the top too. I need some coffee because I am not like, I'm in a fog right now. So it's a little after five o'clock, it's 5.02 right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and break my fast. But I have my coffee, my protein coffee, and my husband is whipping up his meal here in just a moment. I did make him a salad as well, so we are good to go on those greens, and we're going to try to incorporate and finish up the remaining of that, the remainder of that salad before it goes bad as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the week vlog with me. Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I had a great time. <laughs> a great time was had by all. I made a few items, which was great. But for the most part, we tried to stick to just keeping with whatever we made at the beginning of the week to kind of have that throughout the week. And it is, it's working out really well, not having to scramble or have to go somewhere else to try to find food at the end of the day. So wonderful idea to meal prep for sure. I hope you guys are having a good one. Take care and I will see you guys right back here on my channel. Same time, same place for another weekend vlog. Bye.